Hey, happy Wednesday evening. Just wanted to give you guys a quick garden update because I know it's been a little bit. So I'm gonna turn you around real quick and walk you through before we lose the light of the day. Okay, so these are our bok choys and that is obvious bolting, but I think I'm just gonna let it be. They're, so I learned they're actually cold, cold weather crop. So, but they're pretty. Um, until I figure out what else I want to put there, I'm just going to leave them. Um, we have our black eyed peas. So I've learned that you can pick them while they're green like this and eat them kind of like a bush bean, or you can let them go brown like this. I'm thinking a little bit more than this. This is kind of more yellow, but anyway, more brown and eat them, you know, shell them at like an actual black eyed pea. Um, so we've got several coming in these. So they're doing successful. So yay. I have these green bean plants, pole beans, I guess. Um, and they're vining beautifully, but no green beans. So let's see what else we have here. Sorry for the spin. All right, so here is a corn. And we have some corn hair over here. These I just planted, so we'll see what happens with them, but there's little green onions. Um, and then this little guy who's not vining up, but has little green beans. <laughs> so who knows, uh, but that's okay. Um, some things I think are struggling, some things are doing really well, so I guess that's just all part of it and Mother Nature. You can see this one has like periodic leaves that are really looking icky. I think I'll probably pull those off, but I do have some green beans there. Um, and let's see, we have our super tall corn. <laughs> he is now mm, probably about up to my chin. The biggest one and yet still only has one corn coming out and this is his little next door neighbor that one comes up to right about my hip and then it has no corn <laughs> this one stubby guy has two actually that might be two plants nevertheless and these are some peppers i planted this is another green bean plant um, I keep winding it back and forth on itself and I've harvested probably about 12 green beans off of it already um, So there's some more but they're kind of skinny. So I'm waiting to see what they do um, this is our Chili peppers out here Not sure how they're doing there. Haven't been there very very long um, There's gnats out here. So if y'all see me slapping my legs, that's why um, Here's our out door tomato plant. I don't think anything's eating it, but that looks pretty ugly. I'm just going to leave it though and see what happens because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, oh yeah. And by the way, these green beans, um, I don't know, you can probably see, yeah, there are worms eating them. And each time I find them, of course I murder them. Not nice. I know. So we have another green bean plant. Um, and looks like he's got some green beans for us. A midget corn. This is actually two different plants. So, but it's got three corns. I don't know if it's going to be successful though. Because we have discovered um, bunnies are really liking um, the garden out here. These are um, some cherry tomatoes that I planted. Y'all ignore the weeds. I've got to still work on this side. Um, another corn that has two coming up. Cucumber, he's doing really good. Look at this cucumber that's coming up. So, let me put him on top of a leaf. I don't want him really in the dirt. Anyway, um, I just planted this one from in the house um, and moved him out here, along with these that I believe are maybe green pepper, bell peppers, but I'm not 100% sure because new gardening, you know, <laughs> the label disappeared. Some more green beans and look at these corn that we're trying in the grow bag. Look how healthy they look. I'm just super excited to see what happens with them. Okay, 
So that's that. So now we will go in the condo and show you. I just pruned all of these the other day. So we have a lot of tomatoes coming. So you can see them, but thanks to Chelsea again for the information on pruning these. I can actually walk back here. Um, so you can see they're all pretty full. Um, and then of course across the way you can see the bottoms and uh, having continuing to do that. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is a lot of tomatoes, y'all. I'm going to have to figure out if we if they all survive and the birds don't come in and eat them, what the heck we're going to do with them all. Um, there's more. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure, look at this banana pepper. Let me turn this around so you can see. Sorry. It's ginormous. Um, I think it's time to harvest it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I gotta look it up. Here's another one. I don't know if you can see in here, but tons of peppers. Um, those are the jalapenos. And let's see what else. The cucamelons. Let me see if I can zoom in. There is so many of them. Um, all right, can y'all see all of these melons? I mean, they go on for days. I mean, they're, and they're all different sizes, so that's kind of cool. So we just harvest a little bit each day. Um, and then we get into our cucumbers and the cucumelons mixed together. But look at that cucumber. He is coming along. Um, and I have several of those, so I'm pretty excited about that. Look at this guy. He's like big, big also. I mean, look. Yeah. So almost ready to harvest. There's another one outside and another one there. And I'm sure my sister is watching and she's going to try and sneak over and pilfer them in the middle of the night, the ones that are on the outside. <laughs> There's another one and yet another one. So the cucumbers are really doing fantastic. The, uh, the green onion in here, I don't know. He's kind of looking a little bit meh. Um, the other two are not too bad. This tomato I need to do something with. This, finally, there's this tomato and this tomato that were both just kind of random plants. And they stayed super small until this week. And then all of a sudden they decided, oh, I'm just going to grow. So there you have it. That is the garden update for Wednesday. I hope everybody has a great rest of your week and we'll post again soon. Bye.